Did you know, right now, in the year 2020, there is a government-funded occupation that is solely dedicated to you being racist and performing racist acts? It's called the police department. Now obviously, that statement is pretty ridiculous, but follow my train of thought for a second here. Let's make it a little bit more outrageous, and say that police symbolism as a whole represents hatred and racism. The police uniform? Racist. Sheriff's badge? Racist. Sirens on the top of a police car? That, my friends, is the sound of racism. Now let's say that these racist symbols are in a video game. And in order to play that game at the top professional level, you need to play as this character that represents the police. What do you call the player playing as that character racist? The obvious answer is no, but to the operations manager of esports organization Cloud9, that answer is yes. Maybe Buzz tweets out, The one non-C9 game I watch, there's always a police volley skin. Hello esports Twitter, where are you now? Hello managers who were so quick to join hashtags, you too afraid to manage your players? Do we need to at players calling them racist? This is beyond. Now, to give you some context on what she's talking about, Police Volley Bear is a cosmetic in the game League of Legends, where a lightning bear dresses up as a police officer, a cartoon lightning bear. Now this skin was used in a professional League of Legends match recently by a Danish player called Santorin. Danish as in Denmark, you know, the place in the world where police reform generally isn't needed, at least to my knowledge. So not only is this player using the best strategy to win, but he's not even from America. This whole thing is just insane! So let's look at some of the reactions to it. Pro player Acadian responds to this by saying, I'm sure it's more to do with the skin having obvious sounds that alert you that your passive is 5 stack slash smooth animations. Santorin, who is the person who played as police of all bear in the game she's referencing replies literally why i use it makes everything so much easier when it comes to passive slash q etc wicked responds to her by saying wait are you flaming a danish player for using a police skin in a video game you do realize police is trained respected and mostly loved in denmark also pro players tend to use whatever skin gives them the best animations to get a competitive edge sven reacts to her by saying i'm sure danish player sent and using a skin that he likes and that is in the game for many years now means that he's racist I'm sure he is, as a European, agrees that police as a concept is racist, and using a police skin is racist. Did I mention that's totally racist? Rap Terror responds to her by saying, I think you are reading way too into it, May. It's an old skin that is popular, and like Acadian said, has obvious sounds. We have a problem with racism in our police forces. That is completely true but the basic concept of police isn't itself racist. She then replies, but we don't know what she said because her tweets are private, but Atlan responds to her by saying, You are part of the reason why people are not taking this seriously. Fight for actual change, not whatever this is. Christ. Tyler reacts to this by saying, This is mental illness. Ah, she went private. If you can't see the tweet, she's implying all professional League of Legends players are racists for using the police volley bear skin in pro matches, and she's calling for management to fucking do something about it, laughing my ass off. I will dominate quote tweets him and says, there is no way someone is actually trying to argue using a police volley bear skin is racism, right? Geodude responds to him by saying, you don't have to amplify her message, all this does is get your fans to harass her. No matter how dog shit somebody's take is, they don't deserve that kind of shit. I'm sure she's going through a lot right now. I will dominate responds. This is the take of a Cloud9 employee, and I want to make it clear I think this line of reasoning is pathetic. I don't want players to be called racist based off skin selection. She made a public statement. I'm allowed to disagree publicly. Van Gorf responds to Maybe Buzz's tweet by saying, At Cloud9, at Jack. So it is okay to call players racist for picking a skin in League? This stuff is unacceptable. Now for those of you who don't know, Jack is actually the owner of Cloud9. And apparently he saw this tweet, because a day later he actually addressed the issue in this tweet longer titled, Addressing Recent Cloud9 Employee Statements. In it he says, 
Yesterday, a Cloud9 employee made statements on her personal Twitter regarding an LCS player's use of a police skin in a game. We've heard the community's feedback, and we agree. These comments were ill-conceived and questionable. These are tense times, and urgent issues are being discussed publicly and privately. Cloud9 believes serious civil discourse on these issues is important. We also believe that threats to publicly label anyone as prejudiced cannot be made lightly. The resulting personnel and professional outcomes can be life-changing. We have a clear policy regarding social media content that applies to any Cloud9 staff member choosing to highlight that affiliation through the use of a Cloud9 header or similar asset and will address any violation of that policy internally. Additionally, May and Jack have personally reached out to the player involved to apologize. Finally, we ask those who were offended by these comments to refrain from personal attacks and threat. Cloud9 is known for developing unproven talent in the LCS. We believe that there's a champion in everyone, and that belief extends across our teams, our staff, our fans, and beyond. Choosing to see that potential isn't always easy. It requires you to invest time and effort into people despite the way you may feel about their politics or their appearance. But seeing that potential in someone and helping them realize it is always worth that effort. Santorin reacts to this by saying, Thanks for handling the situation this professionally. Water under the bridge. Everyone deserves a second chance to learn from their mistakes. Azazel replies, Good statement and mature response. You really love to see it. James Domizu responds to Jack by saying, Big Cloud9 fan here, and I am not proud at all how you handled this. This is not the behavior I would expect from this organization. Nobody should be using fucking police skins right now. How is this a discussion? Yasuo responds to him with a dancing L. Tarika responds to Jack by saying, Thanks, Jack. We believe you will handle things as you see fit. Also wanted to reiterate that people make mistakes. Let's use these opportunities to be kind and understanding, even if you strongly disagree, rather than hostile. Paradoxio responds to Jack by saying, It's a very sad time that you have to make this statement. There should be one core lesson for everyone out there. Let games be games. Don't bring your political agenda into games. It's not helping. And Waltz responds to Jack by saying, Unacceptable if she isn't fired. She straight up called a professional player racist for using a skin in a game with literally no other grounds for her argument. A player who has worked super fucking hard at improving himself in every way on and off the riff. It's beyond insane. Now speaking of insane, when I first set out to make this video, I expected there to only be negative comments on the situation. But surprisingly, another Cloud9 employee came out to defend me. Hey, he tweets out, Want to take a moment and say I support maybe Buzz on calling out people using the police volleybear skin in the LCS. LCS standing for the League of Legends Championship Series. He continues by saying, If the only reason people use that skin is the competitive advantage with the sound effects, then that is something I sympathize with from a pro player perspective. But then that's on Riot to fix that. As a professional player in a very public space, we have a responsibility to realize that our statements and actions hold influence, whether we want to realize that or not. Okay, I want to interject here real quick. So I 100% agree with the statement that, as a public figure, your actions and words hold influence, but I feel like this player merely using a cop cosmetic in a professional video game wouldn't influence anyone to be racist, or even use that skin as a symbol of racism. But by C9 May using her influence, to connect Cop Volleybear to racism, now League of Legends players might actually use that skin and call people like the N-word in game or something because of it and use it to imply something. Again, I don't think it's a big issue, it's just a fucking skin in a video game, but I feel like if anything, May is influencing racism, not the player. Either way, let's continue. I know it's very easy to just want to ignore issues and play the game because the goal is just to be the best, of course. In my opinion, using the police volleybear skin is pretty tone deaf right now, given how prevalent issues of police brutality are, and especially right now in America. But do I think players are inherently racist for using the skin? No. Do I think players should be more sensitive towards social issues? Or at least there should be a responsibility on the organization slash management to educate players on social issues enough to understand them? Absolutely. Again, if skins are being used as a competitive advantage, I'm 100% understanding slash sympathetic towards that, and as a competitive player, I would want to use everything to my advantage possible. At that point, it falls upon Riot to either take away sound cues for that skin, or add them to other skins as well. Black lives matter, and as a black player representing Cloud9, 
I feel it's important to speak up and address these issues, and make sure they are heard. In addendum, I think a lot of people are taking what may be Buzz said way out of context, and making way too many assumptions about what the point she's making, and what she's calling for. Karadu responds, I think the way you put it was a lot better than the way she put it. You make it as an argument of tone deafness or being in poor taste of the problems we are focusing on in the world currently. But her words were, or should I at players calling them racist? I don't even know if many of the pros are considering that it offends people to use those skins. It would be a much better approach to reach out to the teams and spread awareness about this instead of just immediately threatening to call pros racist. C9 Corinne responds, I agree. I think the way her tweet was worded could have definitely been better. I think she was frustrated because people slash orgs have advocated for being sensitive towards current issues, and yet their players are using police skin, which seems pretty contradictory. Karadu responds, Agreed. I think maybe if her tweet came off as less reactionary or emotional, people may have been more receptive of what she was saying. I appreciate you putting the thought together in a more rational manner though. Maybe more people will take it seriously now. Lagunist responds to Corinne's thread by saying, She directly implied that the player using the skin was racist. There was no other way to take that comment. See the period at the end? That means that objectively her statement has concluded. What she did was wrong, deceitful, and defamatory. It makes me sick. General Pancake responds to Corinne by saying, wrong, to which Corinne responds, why so? And then JP explains by saying, one, the game doesn't condone any characters. You can play as a mass murderer in the game. It doesn't mean you support mass murderers. Two, the police of Runeterra are fictional and aren't even set in a similar world as ours. Three, it's a bear with a mustache that goes wee woo. Willie Macho quote tweets C9 Corinne and says, Lol, this may be the dumbest tweet of all time. I think you might be the tone deaf one, homie. Demi responds to him by saying, He's so fucking wounded by a cartoon police skin, not by the fact that he's one of the one black players on any team in Cloud9. If he wants to focus on any social justice issue, it should be getting other black players, of which there are many skilled ones, represented and paid. Corinne responds, if you think I don't find it an issue that there's a severe lack of qualified black players in esports, then you don't know me or my values. Please don't try to speak for me on that matter. Demi responds, I'm not speaking for you. I'm speaking to you and about you, which is why I tagged. Do you have a multi-tweet thread on that issue? Corinne responds, I suppose to me, it came off as speaking as to what values I do and do not have. I do not have a multi-tweet thread on that issue specifically. However, I've spoke to these issues numerous times on my stream, as well as in some interviews. It's a subject I think is very important. Now, as many of you guys know, May's Twitter account is privated, and unfortunately nobody I know followed her, so I wasn't able to get any screenshots of her tweets defending herself. I know they exist because of references made towards it on Reddit, but I was never able to find out what they were. I tried my best, for hours I DM'd a bunch of random Reddit users to see if they had her followed. I was only able to find one person who followed her, and um, they really didn't want me to see her tweets, which leads me to believe that they're even worse than I can possibly imagine. I mean, considering she thinks playing cop volleybear is racist, I guess I should have expected that. I don't know. I'll leave it up to your own imagination to what she said in response to all of this. Now, speaking of Reddit, a lot of the discussion surrounding League of Legends related topics happen on Reddit rather than Twitter, so I figured I'd include some comments made over there as well. DX Charger says, Deleting the cartoon police bear will end racism. To which Throwaway A responds, I guess it ended racism in C9. The one non-C9 game I watched, there is always a police volley skin. She's implicating that C9 has a policy that forbids them from using police volley skin. Holy Penguin here says, She does realize that other countries other than the US have police officers, right? Revisal responds, Bold of you to assume that she thinks about countries other than the US at all. Tolzetta replies, Bold of you to assume she thinks. Dragoon X129 says, not to make light of the situation, but I couldn't help myself. Linking to a meme he made that has May saying, I can't believe Riot is still promoting racist skin lines in 2020. Do we need to at players calling them racist for playing these skins? This is what is wrong with the gamer industry. And then Volleybear going, haha, please go wee woo. Fanel Desku says, I can't believe someone typed this out and said to themselves, this is the tweet for me. Drops of Liquid responds, I can't believe she didn't apologize. She tried to straight up cancel Santorin. 
It got explained why the skin was better, and she basically said, but is it though? He deserves an apology, and I hope she gives him one. Zagan responds, lol what the fuck? It's not even about the skin being better, it's just the skin. Shouldn't have to explain this person anything for using a skin. This is the mentality that makes this world a worse place, trying to cause problems and feel offended for stupid ass reasons. Autumn Wisp responds, The skin really does have clearer indicators and animations though. That's why 95% of volley bears in pro play are using it. Zocker Brahm responds, And most importantly, it has a dang funny sound effect when chasing someone with Q. <laughs> The Annie Bull responds, Wee woo, wee woo, to which that play was awful response, Excuse me, that's racist. BCS24 says, Wait till she finds out there's a player called Cop. She's gonna have a fucking aneurysm. War Penguin 55 responds, Man, good thing she missed the Golden Guardians game. She would have had a stroke from seeing FBI. Mage Hunter responds, genuinely concerned for how she'll handle a potential Lucian meta with this world's being held in China, and the interesting champion nicknames over there. Entropic Reaver then responds, for those who aren't aware, they refer to Lucian as Obama in China. And here's a picture of Lucian to realize how funny that is. Nakavu says, what next? White players can't play Lucian or Senna? PPMI1 replies, Bold of you to assume we can, and they aren't just counting the number of games to then critique us on Twitter. Keith Stone responds, These white players need to stop controlling black characters. Some idiot probably. PM Lude Picks says, I think she is really grasping at straws here. To which a large Snorlax responds, This is an incredibly nice way of putting it. She is trying extremely hard to be outraged and offended over nothing. Dad ain't me 32 responds. At the same time, she's also directly accusing Santorin of being racist. What the actual fuck? For picking a skin which, Akkadian explains, is the most informative for the passive. This is not just some kind of loony going off the deep end. She is also directly calling an esports player as being a racist. Drewby responds. It's cut and dry slander. If people are getting fired for saying every life matters, she needs to be dealt with for throwing racism accusations around over league skin. And with all of that, that is everything I have to say on this topic. Now, apart from the statement from May being ridiculous, I do want to point out how non-toxic the League of Legends community is outside of game. I know League of Legends in-game is notorious for having players who are very, very toxic, but outside of the game, the League of Legends community in general is probably one of the most supportive and understanding communities on the internet. As someone who's been following it for the last six years, and I feel like a lot of these comments highlight it. As much as people were disagreeing with the ridiculousness of May's statement, no one went after her looks, no one went super hard on her for anything she is, just what she said, and even then I think the responses were pretty tame considering how outrageous her statement was. So basically in short, I'm just trying to say that the League of Legends community gets a really bad rap for being toxic that I think is pretty much undeserved. Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on and follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything going on over there. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular Josh Pescator, Estemic, Mr. Personality, and the Dank Memes Play for all donating $30 a month. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.